This week on Rams 360. Beans on toast. Pies and pudding. Beans on toast. Yeah. Pudding. It is, yeah, you got the wrong. You guys are putting me to sleep over here. It's <laughs> bad answers. I feel like when it comes down to it, like if I really want to, you know, I can dress nice. So I feel like style to me, like it's kind of just what you make of it. Troy Reader is all of us. We find a hundred dollar bill on the ground. Guess what? We're heading straight to Roscoe's. All this and more on Rams 360. Hi, I'm Johnny Hecker. I'm Matt. I'm Matt. And, and this, this is, is the teammate, teammate game. game. <laughs> no, I'm Matt. <laughs> No, I'm the real Matt. This is the battle of the mats. How do you guys feel about it? This is for who is Hugh and who is Matt. Yeah, Matt and Hugh. Matt and Hugh. Okay, first question. Here we go, boys. You ready to go? We're using these amazing Microsoft surfaces. Matt Gay, question is for you. What is Matt Orzek's favorite food? How specific do we need to be? The question is, what is Matt Orzek's favorite food? Her. So it should be just a food. It should be what you write. Are we including desserts? Desserts are food. Yeah, desserts are food. Oh, shoot. All right, all right. That just threw me off. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, um, Matt Orzek, why don't you reveal to the cameras what your answer is? Cookies. Cookies, cookies all right. Destiny's cookies, too. His wife yes. makes incredible cookies. All right, Matt Gay, let's see what you answered. <laughs> okay, some revision here. He answered taquitos and went with cookies. Now, Matt. Also I, made by my wife, I so. I yeah. see on your screen before you asked the dessert question. Were you going to answer taquitos? Yes. Okay, I count that as a right answer. Congrats. Way to go. Ding. Good job. That's impressive, sir. Okay, you guys, you guys might not be ready for this question, but Matt Orzek, what is Matt Gay's favorite food? It's not my wife's taquitos, I swear. <laughs> Man, the resolution on these surfaces is pretty good, huh? Oh. It is so clean. Wow. And the touch reaction is... There's zero latency on this writing, really incredible. I can see his answer, it's gonna be good. All right, uh, Matt Gay, let's reveal your favorite food. Steak. Mm. Delicious steak. Steak. Matt, what is that wrote? British. <laughs> British food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why, My hey, wife's why, British. Yeah. yeah, why would you answer that? Because obviously his wife makes British food, so he has to like it. Yeah. What is British food? Bland. M mushy peas? <laughs> Beans. On toast. Pies and pudding? Beans on toast, yeah. Pudding. Um, it is, yeah, you got that wrong. You guys are putting me to sleep over here. <laughs> bad answers. I'm just joking. All right, here we go. Um, okay, clear screens, you guys good? We're good. We're good. Ready to go. Right. You guys figured Undo. out that process? Yep. Undo. Matt Gay, who is Matt Orzek's favorite artist? <laughs> All right, let's reveal Matt Orzek's answer. The correct answer is Zach, Zach Brown. Brown. You went with? Rhett. Country singer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy? His name was Thomas, Thomas Rhett. Thomas, Thomas Rhett. Rhett, yeah. You were asking yeah. what Rhett's last name was. What his last name was. It was actually, his, actually had the last name. Good job, good try. Oh, good try. Valiant right. effort. Dang it. Okay. Definitely... Do you like Thomas Rhett? Oh yeah. Okay. That's good, now we know a little bit more about you. No, there, there we go. Okay. Matt B. Orzek. Who is Matt Gay's favorite artist? I don't even know what I'm gonna say. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's he day doesn't to day. even know. It's How day to day, honestly. To it's day to day. So um, the fact is, we drive down to the stadium together. Matt's usually the DJ. I mean, it's his own car. He gets to play car. music. Um, you get a wide range of stuff. He sings along to everything. You, oh, you gave, you gave you us like 15 seconds. To I'll answer. give you two. I'll give us like two. I'll give two. On the ride over. I'll give right two. All right, two. All you gotta do is hit one. Shoot 50 percent. You got this. No, it's taking that long to write with Donna. Me. Okay, good luck. Let's see what Matt Gay's favorite artists are. ASAP Rocky uh -huh. with the dollar sign and Adele. <laughs> yeah, we got one got right. There, got one. there it is. Nice, man. Nice, good work. Unreal. Look New song is trending. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. There we Did go. Did you cry? No comment. <laughs> Take that as guilty. Okay, Matt Gay. 
What was Matthew Orzek's college jersey number? Give you a hint. Yep, you were a tight end. Yes. Okay. And good it's hint. also closely related to, but not my gamer tag. But they know each other's gamer tags. That's how good of friends they are. I don't know his gamer tag. I do know it, but I. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll keep it, we'll keep it moving. Just finally more comfortable. All right. What is was was your college jersey number? Eighty four. Eighty four. The guess was eighty. Eighty. Oh, oh, so close. Dang it. So close. Dang it. Matt Orzek. What was Matt Gay's college jersey number? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's traditional. No, oh, boy. It's not traditional. When, yikes. No, I, th I feel like I see a lot of college kickers kind of wearing this, this number. Huh. But NFL related, no. There's not a single oh. kicker with this number. In the not NFL. a single kicker with this number in the NFL. Oh boy. That clears it up. <laughs> yeah. That eliminates one through 40. Give me a hint. I'm one just, through it's 18. 20 through 100. <laughs> very much appreciated. Thank you. We're uh, very Okay, wrong. let's see your guess. There's 37. 37. Ooh, one of them. No, yeah, one of them. One of them. 97. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a terrible number. <laughs> With all due respect, <laughs> you rocked it. You made it. Yeah. Right. You I'd never played football before. <laughs> so they just threw me one. Oh, this is a good number. Closer to 100, the better you it. are, right? They, just yeah. gave, they gave it to me. So. Nice. Hmm. It is what it is. Good choice. All right. Keeping it rolling. Matt Orzek. What is Matt Gay's hometown? We talked about we this did yesterday. Just talk about we this. did just talk about this. Over Flying Yoke. Your answer is Orem, Utah. Orem. Where is Orem? Orem is just north of Provo. Okay. Provo, Utah. Okay. Uh, Provo-ish. Provo-ish. <laughs> Provo-ish. 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 Provo yeah. Provo I mean, yeah. He didn't know that detail of the conversation. I yeah. mean, a lot of times so you refer to Provo. where you're from to the the most prevalent, city that's the most prevalent city. city. Yeah. I right. did mention Provo in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So. Three quarters of a point. Three quarters? Oh, yeah, one and three quarters. Point seven five. One and three quarters to one. All right. <clears throat> Last yeah. one. Matt Gay, what is Matt Orzek's hometown? Mission Beach. Mission Beach. Yeah. Which is it's not what you said. ish to what city, you think? San Diego. San Diego-ish, California. OK. So you said all, yeah. all right. <laughs> we never even spoke about me. All right, lightning round. Uh -oh. oh boy. What, what is the other person's middle name? What is the other guy's middle name? We'll start with you, Matt. Matt Gay, you answer Matt or Zick's middle name. I think I know what it is. But I also think I don't know what it is, too. So. Am I, uh, I'm guessing Hayes, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And good luck. Robert. Brent. Brent! Oh. Rob Brent. Rob Brent. Brent. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, that's yeah. Brent. That's yeah. a pretty <laughs> frame throw out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the first name that came out. All right, now same, you gotta same. guess Matthew Gay's middle name. Same question. Get out of here. It's probably something British. I guess something, probably something British. Yeah. Except his wife didn't give him his middle name. True. All right. His parents did. Still I'm still writing? Drawing a polywag. <laughs> Sticking with it. Three, two, one. Alexander. Damn, I was gonna go blank. Blank. No middle name. I was going no middle name. Uh, I thought you were Alexander. That's very odd. I feel like it's really Well, since you didn't even attempt the middle name, I'm gonna give the win to Matt Gay. Yeah. yeah. You wrote, you I win. blank. You at least What's up? Brent is yeah, closer to Robert go. than blank is I'm to Alexander. Sure I it was. Exactly. Yeah. Brent's not bad. Too. Kind of you guys are both really good friends, though. I enjoy this. We scored higher than we, we thought. Can, <laughs> yeah. I knew a lot more than I. Yeah. Disappointed that no questions were asked on this beautiful surface wow. about Johnny by Microsoft. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Really appreciate you coming along. That has been the, the teammate, teammate game. game. Coming up next on Rams 360. Everybody has a different lens, you know, everybody has a different perspective, and it's really cool to be able to see how they see the world.
he's a, a statuesque guy. He's got a big heart, right? There's an image that I that I, I took of him. I took it as like silhouetted. It was literally around the same time of like uh, George Floyd. And I took that picture with that on my heart. And it was more of a like, if you see this figure, like there's no reason to be afraid of that. I don't like, well, I don't want to say the word gentle giant, but it's like, the dude, he's, like he's a big guy, but he's like one of the best people, one of the sweetest people you can meet or talk to. The year I got drafted, 2018, I was at a music festival called Jambalaya. Uh, I had went to go see one of my friends perform, so um, David, he was uh, taking pictures there. So the friendship definitely spawned from like our love of music and also our love of just art and photography. I had been taking pictures for a while, but nothing really serious. He, he showed me his pictures. I really enjoyed his style and uh, just how he saw things. You see a lot of photography and it's like super happy. His is just really like raw and real. I care about the subject, but I more care about that the lighting looks really, really good or that it, it invokes some type of emotion or it pulls somebody into an image. Honestly, I just love being able to capture something you know, show people an image the way I saw it, you know? Um, just because, like, everybody has a different lens, you know, everybody has a different perspective, and it's really cool to be able to see how they see the world. I really take pleasure in seeing my friends pursue their dreams, because I want my dreams so bad, or my passion so bad. And so when someone expresses interest and I care about them and I love them, I'll give what I can, I'll give the shirt off my back. Regardless if I would have jumped in and been like, all right, this is how you do it, you know? I think that this, he has it within himself and he has the talent as, as well to where he's gonna figure it out. I'm the same way. So it was an organic thing. It wasn't like I was saying like, hey, I'm gonna mentor you or, or even him saying, hey, you're gonna be my mentor. It was more like, hey friend, hey friend. Let's talk about photos and geek out about photography. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's, it's definitely became uh, more of just like a friendship, you know. Uh, I get I get advice from him. He he he's a, a little older than me, so he's you know he's a little more well traveled than me. So you know I get advice from him about life, even like uh, finances because he used to work in finances, you know. But then when he started shooting for like other people in my life, like my cousin Young Deji. And then my, my cousin who, you know, he plays for the Giants now. When he just started like, you know, being involved in so many parts of my life, so then he just became family talk, like my family. So it just happened naturally. I guess he's just in my corner for more than just photography at this point, you know? If he welcomes you into his life or into his fold as being family, then you're that. There's no questioning that. You can't decide that. Like, it's not something that you can take back or that you have the ability to do so, right? And you, I think we were talking earlier saying like, why do you connect? Because I'm the same exact way. And I haven't met someone um, that operates in that, in, in that manner. Awesome. Hey, I don't think you're supposed to hear that last answer. Right? <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. It's a love seat. <laughs> All the love. <laughs> it's different when you gotta answer like in front of the person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it really just happened like organically, you know. When I got injured, you know, I had I had a little bit more free time just because I was just doing rehab and being home. And uh, OD doesn't notice, but I thank him so much because like during that time when I picked up the camera, because you know he he just sort of nudged me that way. Um, it helped me like really get back to the field faster because uh, instead of like being sad about what I couldn't do, I was doing something. I was doing something I loved, and it just made my it just made me bounce back that much faster. You know, it, it helped me a lot during that process. Like more than you know. You can't be saying stuff I don't know on camera though. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. My pleasure, man. For sure, I made my dog. For sure. something about you know dressing nice and just like feeling good before you go out there and play with your with your boys it's like uh there's a feeling like no other you are watching rams 360.
Thank you. Happy yeah. to be here. Terrell, nice to meet you. Terrell, great to meet you. What we'll do today is look at fabrics. Mm -hmm. We're gonna choose some customizations and then we're gonna take some measurements. Okay. So we can get you suited up. All right, sounds good. Cool. I feel like, for the most part, you know, when you look good, you play good, you feel good, you know what I mean? But I feel like if you ask anybody other than me, like that knows me, I'm not really like a big style person. I don't have like an expensive taste or anything like that. But I feel like when it comes down to it, like if I really want to, you know, I can dress nice. So I feel like style to me, like, it's kind of just what you make of it. You know, if you like to have really nice things, then you can, you know, make the best of that. And if you don't like to do that, you can find ways to still make yourself look good and feel good. And it'll just work out just the way everybody else does. So obviously can't go wrong with solid black. Mm -hmm. Good one, right? Window panes, super sharp. Also can do this nail head here, which is super sharp. Kind of a bunch of different options for you. I feel like the black might be too original. Okay. Okay. And obviously all three of these grays look good. Yeah. But I, I might have to go with this one. Yeah. Can't go wrong with this. Yeah. That little blue stripe in the middle of it is really, really sharp. Yeah, that might be the, really the selling point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Cool, let's do it. I don't know if I have like, really like a, a pinpoint. I feel like I get things from a lot of different people, like whether it's like my family members, my grandfather, my brother, like whenever I can like find little things that I like, I kind of just put bits and pieces together and then it'll all come and look good. You guys let me know when you're ready. Thank you. How's it feel? I like it. I really do. It looks pretty sharp. Yes, I think. I think this is the one. Yeah, it looks great. I think this is the one. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I'm gonna keep mm -hmm. over here. Let's look in the mirror. You know, there's something about you know dressing nice and just like feeling good before you go out there and play with your with your boys. It's like a there's a feeling like no other, and everybody probably tries to like compete on who can dress the best that week and. It's more of like a competition before you actually go out there and compete together. So I think it's one, one of that and then also just feeling good, you know, going out there and having some pictures to post maybe later on in the week will be pretty nice as well. Shout out to Chino. I'm a over hype. I saw him. Shout out to Chino. Great sponsorship with the Rams. Great partnership. Coming up next on Rams 360. Watch Aaron Donald absolutely destroy this double team block. Kaboom! That's how you get off the rock and destroy it. I'm DeMarco Farr. This is the All-22 powered by Microsoft Surface. Let's take a look at a couple of plays from the first half of the season. I love this one. This is on defense first here. Third and three in Indy. You guys remember this. This is my favorite play of the year. I love this here. What they're going to try to do is run the shuttle pass to Doyle. He's going to come through here and try to... Carson Wentz is going to cut a bait and then flip the ball in here. And they're going to try to score. Now, I bet they run this in practice all week and it worked 10 out of 10 times. The problem is... This is no scout team defensive tackle. Watch this get off. Watch Aaron Donald absolutely destroy this double team block. Kaboom! That's how you get off the rock and destroy it. Troy Reader, Johnny on the spot. Like I said, great alligator roll. Gets his hands underneath, makes a nice play. Rams off the field. I mean, Indy was rocking. It went dead silent after that play. Move on to the next play here. And nothing, nothing ball game. Here's Russell Wilson here, of course, at quarterback. There's Jalen Ramsey. He's going to cover Tyler Lockett by himself one-on-one. -on -one. Presents a big number. I love this. Hey, Russell, I got your guy. Come challenge me. I dare you to challenge me. Watch Lockett. Comes off the football, straight down the field. He's going to try to work in. Problem is, Jalen Ramsey is right in his hip pocket. Watch this. Get sticky, get sticky, get sticky. No daylight, gets his hand on the football. Again, Troy Reader, Johnny on the spot. Troy Reader is all of us. We find a $100 bill on the ground, guess what? We're heading straight to Roscoe's. Nice play, everybody's jacked up. 
I mean, just tremendous. I'm DeMarco Farr. That was the All-22 powered by Microsoft Service. Nike and the Rams couldn't have done a better job. It truly really, it has all the inspiration that we need, especially returning back from COVID. This is really amazing for our kids and our program. Stay tuned for more Rams 360. God, I am so excited. Thank you, LA Rams and Nike. We received these beautiful two-piece uniforms, brand new jerseys, brand new pants. Thank you very much for the donation. We're gonna have, we've been preparing for this for two years now, and it's time to shine. And we wanna thank you very much, Rams and Nike, for this generous donation. We're here because the Rams and Nike unveiled an amazing uniform for Garfield High School and our varsity football team. I think it looks amazing. I, I, I think uh, Nike and the Rams couldn't have done a better job. It truly, it has all the inspiration that we need, especially returning back from COVID. This is a, really amazing for our kids and our program. We're really excited. We can't wait to wear them out there and flash them in front of our crowd. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week for more Rams 360.